वेलकम टू आर चैनल न्यूज सो दिस वीडियो सीरीज विल बी अबाउट एक्स्ट्रा लिबेटर एबडोमिनो पेरिनियल सेक्शन वर्सेज एबडोमिनो पेरिनियल सेक्शन दैट्स इलेपे वर्सेज ए पी आर एंड दिस इज द फर्स्ट पार्ट वी हैव डिवाइडेड दिस वीडियो सीरीज इन टू थ्री पार्ट्स टू कीप द वीडियो लेंथ शॉर्ट एंड टू होल्ड योर अटेंशन सो मैनी स्टूडेंट्स हैज़ रिक्वेस्टेड फॉर अ वीडियो सीरीज ऑन इलेपे एंड ए पी आर and uh, especially for the trainees who are preparing for the super specialty examination we hope that this uh, series will be useful for them to answer many question in super specialty examinations so we will try to cover the different aspects of two, two techniques the how to what are the indications how to choose over one over the other the anatomical basis and so on friends the complete series the complete course of elape versus apr will be available on our app and members only section on youtube the link for same is given in the description of this video so with this series hopefully the students will understand the basic different uh, types of abdominal perineal section that is the apr that is elape the interspectric dissection etc and how to choose one technique over the other in different circumstances and with this knowledge they will be able to implement the this knowledge into clinical practice for the better patient outcome so stay tuned till the end of this video friends with time um, we have noticed that in all the conferences in all the talks the whole focus is on the basically uh, rectal cancer surgery has fo focused mainly on the operative technique of total mesorectal excision and low anterior section and the uh, basically the discussion about apr elape has been with time and students are getting less and less exposure to this technique so uh, here we are and uh, uh, this one request that please watch this video on a larger screen or preferably in a full screen mode on your uh, device like tab or a pad ipad so that you get the minute details given in this presentation this will be the outline of this whole series that we will discuss the background the relevant surgical anatomy will be discussed briefly what are the options for perineal dissection that is apr elape interspectric and ischioinal uh, resection how to plan the preoperative uh, basically management and what are the surgical technique per se for apr and elape what is the relevant literature and how this is leading to the shifting in the paradigm and what is the take home message for the students so uh, hopefully at the end of this course there will be some shift in your thinking and you will consider elape as one of the part of uh, management for the patient of uh, rectal cancer specifically the low rectal cancer the abdominal perineal section or excision apr oblique ape uh, these are interchangeable terms and sir anas mile uh, gave this concept basically defined this technique in uh, 19, 1908 and uh, this has been the standard of care for decades and uh, there has been some evolution in the management and technique of uh, this uh, basic technique given by sir anas mile uh, back in uh, 1908 so uh, and elape that is extra liberator abdominal perineal section is one variant so friends uh, i have given the relevant uh, literature reference here in this uh, basically part of the video and uh, these are the basically uh, milestone papers or the landmark historical papers and i request the viewers to go through these papers these are free to download paper on pubmed and uh, so that you understand the historical perspective of these procedures so the fundamental principle or aim of all this technique whether it is lar apr elape or ischioinal resection is to achieve a local region control and achieve a negative circumferential margins that is crm should be negative and as we understand that management is challenging because the surgeon is working in the narrow confines of the pelvis and uh, with the poor visibility so i mean uh, the challenges are there technically and if there is a treatment failure that lead to a local recurrence and it is one of the dreaded complication so these are two historical diagrams first is the original diagram of sir ernest mile 
who gave the concept of abdominal perineal section and is entitled final stage in the evolution of radical abdominal perineal section so in this diagram uh, sir ernest mile gave the concept that the basically lower rectal cancers are spreading up to the skin later on this was modified by sir rj heald and rj heald is another i mean uh, this is a uh, who gave the concept of total mesorectal excision tme basically and he said that the true field of spread of rectal cancer is supralibator compartment disease so basically this is to give you the historical perspective and again viewers you can go through these papers and you have a better understanding of this historical uh, diagrams there are only two indication for abdominal perineal excision that is in a case of lower rectal cancer when the sphincter preservation is not possible that is despite the neogen chemoradiotherapy i mean the present era we will not operate a patient of uh, rectal cancer especially t2 and above without the nscrt so when the sphincter preservation is not possible it is directly invading the sphincter or in a case of anal squamous cell carcinoma uh, which has not been successfully treated with chemoradiation so these are basically two indication for the abdominal perineal section so we will discuss briefly the surgical anatomy which will be relevant to our apr and elape part and uh, this anatomy these figures we have been uh, looking at since our anatomy days from first prop so uh, the peritoneum the in case of rectum i mean it is another structure which is partially interperitoneal so the peritoneum covers anteriorly two third part till the pouch of douglas or where it get reflected and only one third part posteriorly so it is partially interperitoneal partially retroperitoneal structure and later one third there is no uh, lower one third sorry there is no peritoneal covering and it is enveloped in the endopelvic fascia and uh, so i mean uh, you have to understand that the lower one third there is no peritoneal covering and here is the most tricky part of the procedure anteriorly in males the denubrial fascia separate it from a rectum from the prostate and seminal vesicle and it is analogous to the recto vaginal fascia in females posteriorly the volder fascia connect connects rectum to the anterior sacrum at about the level of s4 so this concept of a tube within a uh, funnel you have to understand and uh, then the understanding of elape and apr will become better that is the rectum and inner canal it's considered as a tube within a funnel and funnel is basically the sides of funnel are the uh, the two stems of levator and the uh, external stem is basically the uh, inner sphincter part so this funnel wide part is the levator ni and the stem external uh, stem which is the narrow tube is the external inner sphincter and within within this funnel is the uh, this our rectum and the inner canal this is a tube within the funnel and then we will understand the elape and apr in a better perspective so when uh, the surgeon has decided to do, do the perineal dissection that is the apr so we have two option one is traditional oblique standard apr and another is elape so in the option a the resection margin is coned in at the levators so we as we reach at the level of pelvic floor we go towards the rectum you know before that it is the all parallel dissection as we approach the Uh, this uh, pelvic floor that is the levator ni form the pelvic floor so be coned in as depicted in this diagram and there is a potential of coning that we come too close especially if the tumor is at this location so basically we our aim should be that we take out the specimen without compromising the margin the negative circumferential margin resection margin crm is the ultimate aim so the option b is extended or cylindrical apr or extra levator abdominal perineal excision so as given in this diagram line diagram so abdominal mobilization of mesorectum is stopped at the lateral margin of pelvic floor so as we reach the pelvic floor then the we dissect the pelvic floor along with the specimen so there is a wide transection of levators performed resulting in a cylinder of tissue around the tumor so uh, basically it avoids the coning at the level of the uh, pelvic floor the main indication of elape will be when uh, the tumor is within a centimeter from dentate line 
and uh, the low rectal cancer with threatened CRM. So these will be the basic indication. And as depicted in this slide line diagram, uh, one side is the that is the towards the left side uh, is the uh, this uh, conventional APR and other side is the ELAPE. So if we do conventional APR in this case, then there is high possibility that it will result in CRM. Sim uh, on the contrary, if we do ELAPE in this part, then the possibility of positive CRM is less. So uh, basically, we have to remember this that the tumor with a centimeter dentate line and when the circumferential resection margin are threatened, there is a role of ELAPE. So there is one variation of APR of ELAPE that is ischioanal resection. So basically, we incise the liberated muscle at later insertion and then we take out the whole pad of fat of the ischioanal fossa alongside fascia of the obturator internus muscle just remember it can be part of many uh, questions so, and it result in the widest defect basically for that we will require a mesh uh, some processes closer and that we will discuss in later part of this series and the indication will be when the tumor is directly involving the perineal skin ischial fat or liberator muscle or uh, there is a perforation of formation, uh, formation of abscess and fissure tract, then we will require a excision of this whole pad of fat. So friends, uh, from here onwards, that is preoperative planning, uh, the different options, the surgical technique per se of the ELAPE and APR. Uh, we will carry forward the dissection in the next part of this uh, series that will be uh, second part of uh, the APR versus ELAPE and uh, that part is coming soon and this whole series whole course will be available on our app and members only section the app is available for android and ios the link for same is given in the description of this video so please do get connected to us on those platform also and if you want to watch this on youtube only then you can download uh, then you can join the channel membership and the link is for link for that say given in the description so uh, thanks for watching viewers and hopefully uh, we'll be uploading the second part soon so stay connected thank you very much